Hey everyone, how's it going? It's That Nerd Ryan here, and today we are going to be discussing my top 10 favorite clone troopers. It's been a long time since we talked about favorites in Star Wars, so I figured I might as well do it now. So I have a quick top 10 list here. I'm going to give a brief explanation of why I like this clone trooper, and then we move on from the next. Um, I shouldn't say clone trooper, but yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. And with all that housekeeping out of the way for now, let's get into it. I do want to start with three honorable mentions. Um, one I'll talk about a little bit more when we get to number five, but um, Waxer, Boyle, and Boba Fett. Um, Waxer and Boyle, I feel like they're a duo. You can't really get rid of them. Or not get rid of them but put them in a ranking system uh, without having them next to each other and then Boba Fett uh, like I said when we get to number five we'll talk more about Boba Fett so number 10 is Hauser Hauser was introduced in the Bad Batch and he is basically one of the few clones with a conscience in my opinion uh, which was great to see that like not every clone agreed with the Empire um, Yes, Order 66 was brainwashing, but they still didn't feel right in attacking civilians and stuff like that. Um, next is number 9, which is Commander Cody. Cody's the first clone that was named in Star Wars, at least for me. And it was great to see a named clone that kind of just seemed really, really cool. Um, unfortunate to see how he uh, betrayed Obi-Wan. But, again, brainwashing. Um, and just uh, was a really cool character. I hope we get to see a conclusion with him and um, Obi-Wan, hopefully in the Kenobi show. Number eight is Tech. Tech is uh, from Bad Batch. Great. Um, one of the best members. Also, like, just one of the most creative members, in my opinion. Um, I like that he's like the super smart one and that he's able to basically adapt um, pretty quick to any situation uh, and he's just a genius and he's also kind of like one of those geniuses that um, does not talk to uh, <laughs> talk normally to people and then number seven is Gregor fun fact <laughs> for some reason on this I wrote Mick Gregor. I think it auto corrected, but Gregor. Uh, Gregor is. Here's another thing: was I wanted to make sure it was canon clones. And yes, uh, Delta Squad is canon, but we don't know much about them. Um, but I wanted to put a Republic Commando on here. I figured Gregor would be the best option because he's the one with the most story arc that we have so far. We have him where he was a abandoned clone. Um, and then all of a sudden he gets recruited by the Empire to train TK soldiers in Bad Batch where he defects and then we see him in Rebels he's a little kooky but uh, yeah so one of the best arcs that we see um, next to our number one slot on this which we'll get to number six though is 99 99 uh, was introducing Clone Wars as the first defected cologne or defected cologne and he just has an amazing arc of he teaches the um, Domino Squad that they don't need to be perfect and that they're brothers, they need to stay together. And he has one of the most saddest, tragic deaths. And it's making my eyes well up even think about it. Now, number five. This is where I was going to put Boba Fett. But Boba Fett is his own man, especially after Book of Boba Fett. So, I put his sister, Omega. Um, Omega is technically a clone, and I just find it interesting that we have a clone that's completely different from the rest of the clones, including the Bad Batch themselves. Um, number four is Hunter, the leader of the Bad Batch. Um, I originally didn't really care for him that much, but like over the Bad Batch, I really, really enjoyed him. He was a great character and a great leader. Number three is Echo, and again, this is just, we get to see him from Domino Squad, 
to being a regular clone trooper to being an arc trooper to then joining the Bad Batch. Um, very compelling character. It was great to have somebody that we basically got from the beginning all the way through the Clone Wars and through the Bad Batch. Which then brings us to Fives, who basically is in the same boat as Echo, it's just he does something a little bit more important of uncovering Order 66 and showing what it truly is about. And that is something that is incredibly important and great. And number one, everybody probably saw this coming, is Rex. Rex is by far the best clone. Again, it's somebody that we get from the Clone Wars movie all the way through the Clone Wars in Bad Batch, in Rebels, canonically in Return of the Jedi. It's just great to have a clone like Rex around somebody that we could connect to, somebody that was in so many important battles and knows so much. But yeah, so Rex is definitely number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what your favorite clone is in the comments down below. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you. We're all Jedi Masters on the inside.